great eye. Oh, right. Yes, th thank you. I made it. He said you had to work today. Didn't you call in sick last week? I'll do it. Can't both be up there. Take the wheel. Oh, yeah, okay. Both hands. I, I Keep it steady. I Uh, your mom called me looking for you, so uh, give her a ring, okay? Again? She is officially bananas. I have told her to stop bothering people. Uh, look, your cell phone was dead. She's 2,000 miles away. I swear those dogs! They've probably been cooped up all day. You know, Frank hasn't been getting out as much as usual. Everybody's had it with the barking. Yeah, well, try having a mom who calls every five minutes. Barking dogs are nothing. Yeah, well, moms are a pain, you know? It's part of the job description. Hey, babe, I thought you were at rehearsal. What are you doing? Hey, uh, Pedro, you know you never made it to the poker game. Yeah, sorry. Hey, good luck on your tour. And don't forget to call your mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your mom called me again, too. So not cool. I want to know what's going on here. Why aren't you at work? I quit so I could go on the road with you guys. I, I can't miss your first big tour. It was a temp job anyway. I told you not to come. I said I needed space. I know. And you have a bunch of new songs for this tour that I'm dying to see live. It's not about my music. You're walking out the door right now. Friends, right? I'll call you. Dare say I told you so.
Hi, Frank. You know, I'm happy to walk these guys for you anytime. We don't need anyone's charity. Oh, boy. I swear to God and all the saints, if those things keep me up one more night, I'll take all of you down. I have animal control on speed dial. Oh, yeah? Well, I happen to know you haven't paid your rent in two months. So guess what? You don't get an opinion. Come on, boys, get in here. The dogs aren't the problem. They're so sweet. Ugh, shut up and grow up. Keep that crap down. You know, I have traveled all over the world and you are the meanest person I have ever met. <sighs> Mom, I told you, I don't want to talk about it. All right. What route do you want home? I'm not coming home, and that's final. You're not my travel agent. But that is my job. That's my whole business. Now, what do you think paid for your college education? Forget it. I just mean I have my own plans. <gasps> oh, hey, it's just me. <laughs> Where have you been all week? You haven't called me back. My life has opened up, Wanda. I am so out of here. A trip? That's good. For how long? Not sure yet. Uh, probably a good long while. At least a few months. <laughs> oh, here. What about your place? You got a seal on this apartment under rent control. Get somebody to sublet. I... <laughs> I can't think right now. Let me talk to you later. Make it soon, because I need you to look at something. I'm still alive, Mom, just like last night. You said you didn't need anything for your birthday, but look out your window. <laughs> but open the door. There's a drug addict or a streetwalker down here who keeps going back and forth, probably part of a theft ring. Hurry. <laughs> I don't understand what you're doing here. Oh, those dark circles under your eyes, honey. They certainly tell a story. <laughs> oh, oh no. Here she comes again! <laughs> Call the police. It's okay, Mom. We don't need the police. They're just my neighbors. <laughs> well, at least Greta was. Well, at least she's gone now. Let's not stand around out here waiting to get mugged. trash, the never-ending sirens. You're living in the evening news. You haven't even given it a chance. I don't know why you decided to settle down here. It's so noisy and, and dangerous. This city is full of culture, amazing food, and people doing creative things with their lives. People, but you're all alone. Wanda has lived here by herself for years, and she's Go to dinner. I 
have to say it. I knew it was strange when he didn't take you to the holidays at his mother's. That was one Thanksgiving, and I told you, she's from Argentina, they don't celebrate. Just forget it. He was shifty from the get-go. I have a sixth sense about people. Well, at least I won't have to listen to your complaints about him anymore. All right, I won't say another word. Happy birthday. <gasps> you remembered. Thank you. You even got the right color. I want you to be happy, honey. There's more? Uh, the taser's on back order. You have lost your mind. You're very vulnerable now, young lady, like it or not. I didn't care for that boy, but he was someone to look out for you. Don't have double standards. You've always been a single mom. I live in a quiet, friendly place where neighbors don't throw things at each other. My whole life, you never even went out on a date. And, and... Meeting Bill, the crazy mailman, at the mailbox every day doesn't count. He was very thoughtful about the mail placement. Oh, hey, Pete. You can finally meet my mom, Joan, in person. Hi. Oh, thanks for all you do yeah. here. Uh, excuse the awkward handshake. <laughs> Oh, those dogs got you, too? Dog? Oh, yeah, Frank's dogs, right. Listen, I, I called animal control. I'm really sorry about what happened to you. I'm taking care of it. It's not the dog's fault. It's Frank's. Mm -hmm. Thank you for taking action. Oh, now, if I may bring something else to your attention. Uh, well, I, I... I noticed that the front door gate doesn't latch properly. I told you, you have to hold it down. What's going to happen to Guido and Vinny? I, I don't know. Uh, look, I'm late for poker. Oh, of course. G good night. The police are here. What? Oh, God. Please don't tell me you called them. Oh, okay. going on? It's Frank. I can't believe it. I'm afraid Frank's passed on. Oh, I knew it. I was awake at 4 a.m. and I heard this awful noise. I, I don't know what it was, but... Oh. Who is the investigating officer here? What's your name, ma'am? Oh, there is a murderer on the loose and the police have to do something Mom? about it. You don't know what you're talking about. Everyone, she has no idea what she's talking about. This woman's your mother? Well, she doesn't look too steady on her feet. You better get her out of here. Come on. I am going to kill her. Murdered? Oh, come on. Take it easy. You can't argue with the facts that he took his own life. I saw it myself. I, Annabelle, remember Lloyd Hertz after he lost his family's farm? He went to the barn, and no one was surprised when he blew his brains out. Well, they, they did take the dogs away, and that made Frank very unhappy. Angry, but not suicidal. All right, look, I'll, I'll see what else I can find out. This is your paranoia talking. Actually, she is onto something, but it's not safe to talk here. Don't encourage her. The murderer made it look like suicide. <sighs> Look, uh, these details are kind of gruesome. I, I don't think you want to hear any more. Let, let's go inside. No, we, we have to know everything if we're going to solve this heinous crime. Come on, Joe. Oh. 
What? Well, 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 I on. swear, I am not going to survive her visit. She's already caused enough trouble. First, Guido and Vinny get taken away, and now this. Meet me at my office. I, I don't want Guido and Vinny to go to a new home. Come, I... come by at 2 o'clock. I'll have everything ready by then. Hey, shoot. Can I borrow your phone? Uh, gotta get to the office. Sorry. I'll see you later. Look, you mom sure having a hard time, so maybe you ought to take her to wine country or something. You know, nothing makes sense. I, I just called Animal Control, and they don't have any record of Guido and Vinny. Well, it, it was just last night. The front desk is probably not up to date. like a crime scene. Is this routine procedure to seal the perimeter when someone dies alone? Um, I'm Annabelle, by the way. I live on the floor above. Officer Moreno, you can call me Buck. You all right? Yeah. Um, I just keep thinking about the last time I talked to him. He was so rude. He was that kind of guy. I knew him from around the neighborhood. Yeah, but I let it get to me, and I was a big jerk right back to him. This isn't your fault. It's a sad ending to a sad life. Plus, my mom is trying to win the craziest person alive contest by turning this into a murder case. <laughs> Some buddies told me about that. That's your mom? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It's just my life. Um, here's my contact information in case you need help in finding a crazed killer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. No problem. You are not supposed to go anywhere without this. Don't go off the deep end anymore while I go talk to Wanda at her office. Oh, why do you have to go anywhere? It's not safe. Just call her. I'm going. You're not going anywhere dressed like that. And take some pepper spray. And if anybody comes near you, you just kick them in the... Okay, thank you for checking again. All right, you have my number in case you find them. Great, thank you. Whatever. <laughs> you are too much. Hi. Can you let Wanda Cooper know I'm here? Wanda left early. Well, I was supposed to meet her here. Do you know when she's coming back? I'm not her mother. Jeez. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Wanda, it's Annabelle. Where are you? loaned me this uh, thingamajig, and he had these locks. Uh, what did Wanda say? She wasn't there. Hey. She must have gone sailing. Hey. Hmm. Not bad for a day's work. Not bad at all.
found at Animal Control, huh? That's weird. I called there earlier and they didn't have them. Oh, I must have already picked them up. <laughs> oh, thank you. I will take them for good as soon as my mom leaves. Hopefully you don't mind holding on to them until then. Uh, how long are you staying, Joan? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, we'll see. What does that mean? I, uh, I got an open-ended ticket. We'll talk later. You can give up right now. Oh, well, I know what you think about my cooking, but I think I can handle this. Have you seen my reading glasses? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you moving in here or me moving home, whatever it is you have in mind, it's not happening. Cedarville is always improving. We got that Taco Bell next to the highway. You love Latin cuisine. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and see if Wanda's home. Oh, wait, it's stay alert. Be careful. Relax. I'm not even leaving the building. But... Ugh, <sighs> God, <it's> so gross. <laughs> Wanda? It's me, Anna Bell. There's nothing here. I checked the dumpster and that was clear too. The murderer cleaned up to make it look normal. My mom's blood was still all over this door. I swear, I saw it. Pete, you hadn't cleaned that up. Well, you know, honestly, I can't remember. I mean, she, she could be right. Well, you hadn't. It's been a long day. You and your mom can come down to the station tomorrow. Oh, you have to go in there and see what I'm talking about. Her place is trashed. I'm not waking up a judge in the middle of the night to get a search warrant without physical evidence. Well, this is something that definitely isn't Wanda's. What in the world is this? It has to be a clue. She could have been a collector. It, it looks old. <laughs> Pete, are you OK? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, look, I got to get going. Uh, forgot to take my blood pressure medicine. Let's all take a step back and get some rest. Thank you for believing me. I had no doubt at all. Remember your terrible babysitter, Nina? The one who kept eating all the Oreo cookies and blaming it on me. Yes, you were mischievous, but you didn't lie. I knew you'd be fine if I sprinkled a crushed up secret ingredient in the lair. She spent all night in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I wish we had that taser. Well, this will do.
this is the second murder in that building, and Annabelle is next. This is a vicious serial killer. <laughs> what? what? Frank and Wanda both knew you. You're the missing link. That doesn't mean anything. I don't get serial killer from that at all. This doesn't involve me. Buck? I got good news. I'm sorry. I don't know how that could be possible. Let the man speak, honey. The Yacht Club says your friend's boat is still out. Anyone could have taken her boat out. She is not on it. I'm telling you. I can't believe this. First she drags me down here, and now it doesn't even matter that you guys are useless, which I already knew. I know, you're upset, but jumping to conclusions isn't the best way to solve anything. I was there, and I know what I saw. I don't want you to embarrass yourself. Just stop with all this, please. Mom, let's go. Maybe some friends borrowed it. No way. She bought it with her life savings. She babied that boat. Disappear like a, a ghost in the night. Murderer wanted to be invisible. So if you don't want to be seen, you just. Hi. Do you remember me? Don't get too close. You might catch something. Don't be rude. Get back! I'm sorry. I don't want to take anything. I just need to check last night, okay? It's super important. I know you did this drawing, but can you tell me anything about the man here? She needs something to eat. If we get her a decent meal and a place to stay, she'll be a great witness. This isn't any help. Neither of you are even giving her a chance. Ugh, just go away. I will, if that's what you really want. But it's a nice day for a walk with a pretty girl. You know, 
My mom's always lived in fear of ending up a bad lady, so I'm sure talking to a real one is rocking her world right now. Your mom is pretty protective. You think? She just doesn't know how to let go. Guess that's why you live 2,000 miles away. Been to a lot of other countries, too. My mom's a travel agent that doesn't travel, so make up for it. Sounds fun. I've never been out of the country. Don't tell me you're one of those Americans that's never even been to Canada or Mexico. <sighs> Went straight from college to the academy. Wanted to help out my mom, who was raising five boys on her own. Wow, that's a lot of kids. I'm an only child, but I've kind of always wanted an older brother. <laughs> hey, I am not volunteering for that. <laughs> I was hoping for something more with you. I don't know why. You obviously think I'm crazy. It's not true. You just don't have all the information. You don't believe me. Let me help you. You don't have to do this by yourself. Oh, I'm not alone. Ever. Your mom is doing her best. Well, she's doing something, all right. She's behind me, isn't she? Murderer staged Frank's death as a suicide, so maybe a doctor? But how would a doctor get into Wanda's apartment? Maybe it was poison in her lunch. Some kind of fast-acting odorless powder. Mm. Hey, Buck, what's up? Hey, the Coast Guard just brought Wanda and her boat in. She didn't make it. I'm sorry. When's the autopsy? Pretty clear. She hit her head when she fell overboard and got tangled in the lines. I need the results of that autopsy as soon as you can. You're not hearing me. There's no autopsy required. Detective Pratt is closing everything down. Then I guess we're done here. Let me stop by later, and I'll take you and your mom out. No thanks. We're good. See you around the neighborhood. That's a bunch of malarkey. So now you get why the police are a waste of time. Tell me you do. All right, all right. But as soon as we get some real evidence, we have to call them. You were right about one thing. We have to figure out what ties Wanda and Frank together. I didn't even think that Wanda liked Frank. Well, let's see. Crime is always rooted in sex or money. I know. They were lovers, and Frank found out that Wanda was cheating on him. She was gay, Mom. Money. Wanda must have been in some kind of money trouble, and Frank gave her a loan but more than he could afford. So the loan sharks came after him and then her. We find the paper trail, we find the killer. It's simple. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how you just did that. And if it wasn't so annoying, I would be impressed. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm right, right? No. But, I never found out why Wanda wanted me to come to her office. you need me. I'll guard your scooter. You don't need... You know what? That is perfect. Thank you. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm the temp from the Goodman Agency reporting to Wanda Cooper. Wanda? 
there's another tent back there taking care of her desk and files. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I, I left a scarf at her desk. I'm just gonna go Good afternoon, honey. grab it. Are you there yet? Well, I could find it much faster if you stop bothering me. Oh, you look ridiculous. Oh, I lost the name card for this delivery. Yeah, the front desk said that it's next to Wanda Cooper's cube. Uh, down three rows and over two. Thank you so much. <laughs> Delivery! Uh, hi. I'm supposed to dust up before they get someone else set up in here. How many grandchildren? What, that is so romantic that he still sends things like this to you. You know, he was very specific when he ordered the flowers. He wanted this daisy to match the beautiful red rose, and oh, and the balloons. Well, he wanted them to match the flowers. So we got the pink and the red balloons, and then the big balloon, I love you. Pete was converting the building into condos. Frank and Wanda wrote him a letter threatening to sue. What? I can't believe this. That is the connection. Pete needed everybody to move out of the building, and he knew Frank and Wanda weren't going to, so he... <gasps> They'll be fine. Pull yourself together. At least we know what's going on now. You don't understand. My landlord is a... Hold on. We just know that he was mixed up in something bad. But the night before Frank died, Pete was acting weirded out about something on the street. That's when he did it. Oh, I see. He got rid of the dogs, but when you went to find them, he had to bring them back. And Wanda knew too much, and she was about to tell me. That's why she was. It's OK. He thinks you're happy about getting the dogs back. And when you move out, it will be natural with your life transition. It's fine. I don't know. I owe it to Wanda to make sure he pays for his crime. She would do the same for me. This is not your fight. OK. You can give up if you want to but you are not talking me out of this. I can't let you go on alone. So you're in then? Back up, give me some space. I haven't been to a bar in years. You'll have a drink, it'll be fine. Be right there with you, okay? <laughs> Excuse, Excuse me. Us. Excuse me. What'll it be? Uh, beer. Any beer, thanks. Sherry, it, it, just a drop. Nice locket. Oh, yes. Thank you. 
This is my daughter when she was two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is too loud in here for poker. Shep told me poker's in the back. <laughs> then what are we still doing out here? It's fun. I'm being very relaxed. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's go. Excuse her now. I don't have time to explain the rules. Don't worry. I paid for a plane ticket to Brazil with my winnings one time. So, uh, where are you from again? Oh, Cedarville at Ohio. And this is my first visit to San Francisco. Or anywhere, really. Uh. So how do we know that you're not a couple of con artists who are going to take us for all we're worth? <laughs> now, I have a proposal for a few hands. I'm looking for information. And if I win, you won't ask why, and you won't tell I was asking. Huh. And if we beat you? <laughs> I raise you by three more. Huh. Something tells me you've done this before. I might have been the poker champion at Principia Women's College in 1968. Why didn't you tell me? Sweetheart, don't interrupt. Matt needs all his concentration to lose. <sighs> Nothing but a dead man's hand. <laughs> now. There's a man named Pete Matthews who plays poker with you on Tuesdays. What time did he leave last week? Ooh, a jealous lady friend. He left around 10 with his panties in a twist. Classic losing streak. We're not the only game in town, so he's still playing until he wins it back. Good throat. <laughs> and he'd hate to lose to a woman like you with brains, beauty, and wit. Women in general. <laughs> Mommy issues. <Ooh. laughs> what are you talking about? So I says, Pete, she brought you into the world. But that doesn't stop his grudge against his mother. Hmm. Okay, so now we know that Pete had motive, and if he left the game early, that means he had time to do it. I wonder what they meant about his relationship with his mother. Okay, Freud, I don't think that has anything to do with oh. this. Are you all right, Pete? Yeah, yeah, I'm just not myself lately. You know. My mother's in the hospital. I'm gonna go lay down. Excuse me. Sorry to hear that. Good night. Ew, Buck. Would you like something warm to drink? Some tea, uh, cocoa, coffee? I don't have any of that stuff. I don't know why you invited him up here. Because we couldn't walk past Pete's door alone. If Buck is here, he won't attack tonight. One second. You have to tell him about Pete. I will look like an idiot. We don't have anything definitive yet. If you don't, I will. Okay, okay, just stay out of it. <laughs> Good night, you two. Now, don't stay up too late. I'll just go now. <laughs> oh, please stay. I want you to stay. <laughs> it's a 
let's talk about you. Mm. How many bad guys did you catch today? Or, maybe, talking is overrated. Oh, I just have to heat up my water bottle. <laughs> uh, you still have that thing. Yeah, it's, um, it's trying to tell me something. Hmm? But what? I mean, look at its angry eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be straight with you. I really like you, but I just got out of a relationship. Oh, <laughs> heard that one before. Uh, the guy turned out to be a huge jerk. We're not all jerks, I promise. I've just had a really confusing day. Where is Buck? I can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Please, follow me. I'm impressed. This is pretty fancy. Now you're making fun of me. No, I mean it. It's nice. I hate to interrupt kids, but we've got a lot of ground to cover. Sounds like big sightseeing plans. Oh, is that the code name? That's a good one. Operation Sightseeing. <laughs> you must have come up with that last night. <sighs> we don't have to talk about last night. Well, I don't want to interfere with you and Annabelle, but I would feel better if you came along. He's a busy guy, Mommy. You can't just expect him to drop everything. Annabelle's got it under control. I look forward to the report. how slow the bus is. Well, I'm not riding around on your scoot thing until you get your mirror fixed. And you'll probably get a ticket, too. OK, Mom. <gasps> Martha, give me a break. This is your last day. Just behave. Well, stop poisoning my food. Oh, excuse me, uh, Mrs. Matthews? We hear about your son, Pete. It's a matter of life. You're and... not getting another nickel. I paid you people enough money. Wait, what? Who did you pay? Well, I'll tell you like I told him. Petey, the money's all dried up. Go sell another boat or something. I'll tell that to your nincompoop Russian boss. I'll get out. Get out! Thank you. For Get out! Time. What a terrible son. Using her for money? Sounds like it's been going on for a while. Yeah, well, they deserve each other. <gasps> Ma, the place has been closed down and falling apart for 20 years. You're just being sentimental. No. Told you for the umpteenth time, I'm not selling your father's auto body shop. Well, I can buy it back. I told you this is a temporary situation. Yeah. Remember 10 years ago, that recovery program I bet you lied about? I gave you that apartment building. No more buildings for you. <clears throat> oh, those goons were here looking for more money. You just missed them. I told them to take a hike. Well, what are you talking about? At least they had manners. That woman with too much makeup and that curly-haired girl. The 
doctor needs to go over a few things with you right now before you take your mom home, Mr. Matthews. Hold the elevator, please. Ma'am, please relax. Did he see us? Did he follow us? Paranoia, hallucinations, your basic nightmare patient. there's some kind of international crime ring involved. You have got to call Buck, and he's got to call the FBI. They've, they've got some kind of a, a hotline. Oh, well, we can call them ourselves. Slow down. Buck is on a lot of cases. We can't bother him until we have something that he can take to his boss. But if he had caught you, that would have been it. Oh, I wish he would stop saying things like that. He knows that we're onto him. Look at me, OK? We made it. We're fine. I'm right here. If anything had happened to you, listen, we found out stuff we can use. Pete is in a lot of debt. I never would have forgiven myself. We are almost to the end, I promise. We just need to find out where Pete is racking up his debt. Where are we going? Gambling. Tim. Pete being banned everywhere doesn't help us. We need details. But no one is going to just hand over their records. We have to get to the higher ups, the one who runs the operation. Comfortable shoes. These are pressing on my bunion. Mom, you look good. Really good. Black is slimming, <laughs> and all your time at Curves is paying off. We're conducting an investigation and hope to get your cooperation about a man who owes us and probably you a lot of money. You sound very serious. This girl, she is so serious. How about you? We mean business. <clears throat> I hope you like fun, too. Maybe this is too cliche, but uh, dinner and the movies? I like all kind of movies. What's happening right now? Something is happening. I'm being asked out on a date. <sighs> We made a mistake, and we're actually in a really big hurry. We have to, we have to go. <laughs> you, no, hold on, you were just giving me a hard time about not dating. I know the trials, trust me. We're late for another appointment, remember? The one at that place where I found that thing where that other bad thing happened? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> That's not mine. You broke it. 
found it like that? It is from my childhood. I have been missing it so much. It is one of a kind. We know everything, so let's talk about what we're going to do here. We are out of options. No, we've got Wanda's murder on him. He should know that. Wanda? Who is Wanda? I murder no one. I have had it up to my eyeballs with this city and everyone in it. I came out here for a nice birthday celebration, and it has been a nightmare beyond nightmares. And then, when I think it can't get any worse, a murderer asks me out for dinner and a movie like it's just another day. You are one crazy lady, but I still like you. I can totally relate. So, what are you going to do? Kill us? Is that how you solve all your problems? I am not killer. Then how did that get into Wanda Cooper's apartment? show you who is your killer. Allow me to compliment you on your interior design. Meet Tanya Petrov, the greatest woman in the world. Oh, I see, your mother. She's very striking. She is mother to all. Even Sergei here must do as she says. Da? She is a strong woman. But still, she will not move to America. Every visit, I beg her to please stay. Still, she says no. Oh, it's so difficult to uproot yourself when you're older. We all have our habits. Быстрее, мы видели это вечера. This man, this is your killer. He has many debts at my racetrack, but cannot pay. He shows he has big money building. After he converts it into condos, we have trouble with tenants, so I tell him, you're a landlord with power, so convince. But he didn't. I give Sean how to convince. Oh. He is fine, just big baby. Violence never solves anything. Wait. I am businessman. I work in office. Not like Pete, so crazy like Lady Macbeth. So this time, I sent Sergei with money Sergei, for a loyal lady. Take this. We'll go with him. Aha. Look close. Toy is here. Yes? Now it is not. This is your killer. Sergei and I. We discovered this yesterday. Pete knows little drummer is from my childhood. He will pay for this. Hold on. About Wanda. You were going to bribe her. That was my plan, but... Look, she's mouthing off about lawsuits, saying she was going to prove I murdered Frank. I had to do something. You can't expect me to just stand there and take it. And now, Sergei, he must clean up your mess. Sorry, I know, but it's going to be fine, right? I'm getting the papers and everything set. See, we are on the same side, da? I don't understand why you're sharing this information. I am interested in justice. Anyone that bad deserves to be put away for good. Now, that is well said. So, you'll cooperate with the police? 
The police do not trust me. You will get farther if you do not mention my name. But I will help you in any way that I can. So handsome, like Peter O'Toole. Huh? <laughs> Peter O'Toole. Oh, and so cultured, talking about Shakespeare. He's Ooh. a mafia boss obsessed with his mother. I had no idea there were so many single men my age that weren't depressing widowers. <laughs> Ivan claims Pete acted on his own, but I don't believe him. Oh, well, he's telling the truth about Pete's hand. We thought it was from those dogs. There are a lot of tapes in that room. You have no idea what else goes on here. Don't worry. Buck can go in and get all the tapes with a search warrant. <laughs> Take a good look at the 1981 Service Awards. Buck, I don't understand. It's all right there, Veronica Mars. <gasps> That's him. Shh. He was fired later for misconduct with the gambling. Ivan didn't tell you everything. They had a deal where Pete looked the other way and let Ivan run back tables if he could join in. And just like now, Pete got in over his head and couldn't pay up. Just before Pete turned Ivan in, Ivan got him canned based off of other debts at the casinos and racetracks. Mom, are you getting this? You were right. We're being used. You're pawns. In a long game between these two. It's what criminals do, Mom. I covered for you by saying it was a misunderstanding, but you can't stay here. And you can't go back to your place. Pete's still got eyes and ears here. We have to get that tape. You can't break the law. I really don't like this. Okay. All right, ready? Okay, make it quick. This Tanya Petra, you make big trouble for my son, Ivan. Demon steal security tape from office. No, I don't like. Get the tobacco or we kill you. Everything is in place, and this will all be over soon. He's a professional gambler. He could call the bluff. But if he was good at it, he wouldn't be in this mess. He doesn't know when to quit. So, did you break into the police spy closet for this stuff? I got it from Radio Shack. Hold still. Thanks for helping out. I'll be 30 seconds away at all times. If things get even a little dicey, I'm coming in. He doesn't have the guts to do anything in broad daylight. 
Can you repeat that, John? He's by the jungle gym. Be careful, Annabelle. I'll be right there. Just stay back. I told you, as soon as he confesses, I'm out of there. You are a very foolish girl. Was your dumpy sidekick? She's got a copy of the tape for the police if I'm not back in five minutes. If I get what I want, we give you the copy. Uh, look, I'm sure you've made other copies so you can keep on milking this. Wrong. The way I see it is you're only good for one thing, so <laughs> I only need one copy. OK, fine, fine. What, what do you want? I want a cut of this condo deal. You get me the top floor condo. No, that ain't my call, sweetheart. Prime time from Ivan's office. Everything you said and did about Wanda, right here. Look, I am tired of this game. You give me that tape and all the other copies, or I'll... Admit it! Say you're a cold-blooded murderer! Mom! Everything. She doesn't trust me. We can still figure this out. I'll call you. I'm not leaving you on your own. You are just like her. Nobody thinks I can take care of myself. Annabelle, you have made this a total disaster. Hang on a minute. I was handling it, but you didn't think I could, so you butted in. He sounded like he was going to hurt you. We made threats. He was just trying to scare me. He wasn't going to do anything. Well, I couldn't take the risk. You know, it was so great when I was traveling. You couldn't find me unless I told you where I was. Well, I am your mother. And I'm here to take care of you, like it or not. Just leave me alone. There was a time in my life There were no tomorrows Only moments passing by There was a place that I would hide Where the world couldn't follow And I just have to close my eyes Innocence is gone And life just carries on Anyway And now I know that memories are forever True colors will never fade to gray And I know still be there tomorrow and that's where I'll keep all my yesterdays all my yesterdays did you know I just have to fly alone These photographs In my mind Are the wings that lift me And they won't ever let me down Every smile and every tear I'll always have them here Inside
ourselves a situation. I've got your mom, but she doesn't have the tape. What is going on? Where is my mom? Uh, Joan, phone call. Let's get this gag off. She doesn't know where it is. <laughs> it's a lot to shut her up. Don't hurt her. Then get me the other copy of that tape. She claims you don't know where it is, but I bet you do. I'll get it. You have until noon tomorrow. Meet me at the ferry building clock tower. No, 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 wait, wait, I need more time. Oh, and Annabelle. One word of this to cut, boy, and the deal is off. I got friends on the force, remember? really broken but you can fix it right it'll be okay no nothing is okay my mom Pete's mom in the hospital they were arguing about his dad's old auto body shop how long have you been in business I've been running my shop 35 years now. So you would know about other auto body shops in the city, even if they've gone out of business, right? I suppose so. I'll look at the roof later. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Time for a ride. <clears throat> I'm gonna make the day for some Russians. They're gonna love you. Shut up! Do you ever stop? Come on! He knows me. So, you are alone. 
without your charming partner. She's working another angle on Pete right now. She's with his mother. House call, hmm? Not very nice, but pretty clever. I'm here for a copy of your security tapes. My forensics team needs to know what Pete was wearing after he pulled the Wanda job. No one but family gets tapes. My partner wanted to meet with you privately to discuss it afterwards. She wanted to see me, Ivan. Me? Exactly. She said something about dancing. I have dancing phobia. My hands, they sweat. Dinner, I think it was. Um, anything, really. She thinks you look like Peter O'Toole. Who? Famous Hollywood movie star. Joan would be so grateful, trust me, if I could just get a copy of that tape. One minute, maybe. Okay, Sergey, you take her. I go to deliver justice alongside John. What do you mean? I visit her at location of interview. You know where Pete's mom lives. Of course, you convince her not to work so hard, and we go to early dinner. I go to buy roses now. Romantic surprise, yes? This girl, show her tape from main office from last week. Um, just last Tuesday is fine. Что за бардак здесь вообще? Че мы тебя не ждали? А если Таня Петров сейчас заявится? Че вообще? Ты ебали? Ладно, ладно, перестань. Ты че, оборзел вообще? Че вообще? Че ты сделал? Да сам пошел, а? You'll get it later. Sure, no problem. I'm gonna go check something out with this car. Don't wait for me. We stay out of your way. Mom, are you still in there? Okay, I'm getting you out, hold on. Nothing but trouble. No, no, that girl in my building, she's got the security tape. But look, I got the perfect way to get it back for you. Girl? What girl? Her mom is in the trunk of my car. Ah, oh, okay. Anybody hurt you? Get in the car. Come on. Well, wait, 
are driving. I can't do everything, Mom. I drop. Keep trying. Give it to me slowly, slowly. Put your hands behind your head, Pete. It's over. You underestimated us. Yeah, well, good luck. Because now you'll never be free of her. Stop talking before you really piss me off. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Annabelle. <sighs> Uh, let's take a different car, okay? You're gonna pay back the five hundred dollars you owe me? Yeah, I didn't think so. <coughs> no, I... Ma'am. Everything you need to know is on that tape. Are you okay? I heard the nine one one call come in from some pissed off mom about a car chase. Nine one one? I didn't think you got through, mom. I didn't. <laughs> Ma'am, please. You can deal with him later. Ma'am. No one's gonna be a perfect match, but I gotta have my say when it's a soon to be convicted accessory to murder. Let her make her own mistakes. You don't wanna kill her confidence when she's just getting started. Actually, I really do. Nah. You're too busy for that. I'd better go get her. She'll be fine. I know. I can't help it. She's my mom. Do not worry. I will bring even more roses. Oh. And as for me, Tanya Petrov will take care of everything. Oh, I surely don't know what you mean by that. I will see you soon, my sweet. Oh. OK, Ivan. Thank you, and goodbye. OK, come on. Okay, come as for Tanya Petrov. I think you want to be seen consorting with his type. Well, guess what? He wasn't trying to shoot me. That was all Pete. No more guns for you, okay? <sighs> you almost lost it back there. I'm sorry. I guess I don't know how to stop being your mom. And when someone attacks you, You I don't need to apologize. You have that killer mom instinct, and that's okay. What is it? I am 
am so sorry for all of the stupid things I have ever said and done to you my whole life. I love you, Mom. I love you too, sweetie. So, uh, do you think Buck and I have a chance? <laughs> if that's what you want. Just, uh, don't start naming the grandkids yet, okay? <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, let me introduce you to my amazing mom. Her name is Joan. She's incredibly funny, big-hearted, great at poker, <laughs> and everything else that matters in life. <laughs>